Okay, guys. Hey, Steel Star here. Hey. Okay, we're good. Um, I just wanted to make sure things were good, but we're good. So, this is Dear Esther, and it's a first person point of view game. I believe it's like exploration, kind of like how Remains of Edith Finch and The Vanishing of uh, Ethan Carter was. So, it's in that realm. But you know, obviously, I've enjoyed those games, so. I hope this one doesn't disappoint, but we'll find out. <laughs> Looks like there's four different uh, chapters. Is that a good thing to call it? Uh, the lighthouse, the buoy, the caves, and the beacon. Let's start. Dear Esther, I sometimes feel as if I'd given birth to this island. Somewhere between the longitude and latitude, a split opened up, and it beached remotely here. No matter how hard I correlate, it remains a singularity, an alpha point in my life that refuses all hypothesis. I return each time, leaving fresh markers that I hope, in the full glare of my hopelessness, will have blossomed into fresh insight in the interim. Should I go here first? Oh, this is just the gross bathroom. I think I meant over here. The garage. Oh. Paint spill. Really nothing here to look at. What is that? Is there literally nothing of note? Oh. Okay, are we going this way? The. I was gonna die. I did it. Nature is pretty. When you were born, your mother told me, a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that, that you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuums, just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six, and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Okay. I have found the ship's manifest, crumpled and waterlogged under a stash of paint cans. It tells me that along with this present cargo, there was a large quantity of antacid yogurt bound for the European market. 
It must have washed out to sea. God knows there are no longer gulls or goats here to eat it. Or, or. This music is a lot to me. It's still loud, but whatever. It's fine. Can I, like, chill in the water? No, can't really get that far. I guess we have to go back here. Hope so anyway. I don't want to get this wrong. Then it's backtracking and that can get bold. go back up this way for a different area to look at. This is... Hmm. A wonderful sight. The moon cresting the junction between Cliff Path and the Stone Circle. It cast a shadow of the ridge across the beach. All the world as if you had signed your name in untidy handwriting. someone had died or was dying or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice they cut parallel lines into the cliff exposing the white chalk beneath you could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat and notice and aid or impose a cordon of protection and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff path died along with its hosts my lines are just for this keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Okay, so there's nothing to look at. I mean, there's scenery. I directly. A motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, a reason or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. 
responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. I find myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin. We are woven into a sodden blanket, stuffed into the bottom of a boat to stop the leak and hold back the ocean. My neck aches from staring up at the aerial. It mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I am sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife, head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. Um, there's no documents to look at. I like reading documents. Hey. I'm just playing this. What's up with you? How did uh, Resident Evil go? Oh, nice. Yeah. Where did you leave off at? I didn't get a chance to check. I dreamt I stood in the center of the sun, and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. My teeth will curl, and my fingernails fall off into my pockets like loose change. If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. With the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I've rode to this island in a heart without a bottom, all the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. That's good to hear. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, you can fly on the game? That's cool. With a plane. I played a little bit of, uh, episode 4 of Tales from the Borderlands earlier. Um, I didn't stream it, but played some. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Samford and the welcome break services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. That's cool. Did you make any different choices? I, I imagine I'll see if you do. So I'll go this way. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just the beginning. What chapter did you play to? Oh. Right. I've never seen an outcome where he didn't save the girl, but that's just because I was trying to be careful, you know, to save her.
you know, I've been waiting to play this game for a while. I seen it was on sale finally, so I grabbed it. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, I mean, it's visually nice, but uh, I don't even understand what's going on. At all. But at least it's only like an hour and a half game, so it's not going to take too long to beat. Maybe I should have went the other way? Find out. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? Can't get up, so. <laughs> Good luck. kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital after the operation when I was still half submerged in anesthetic your outline and your speech both blurred now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk oh that's sad I apologize if I'm not very reactive. I'm kind of tired, honestly. What charnel house lies at the foot of this abyss? How many dead shepherds could fill this hole? Me. I died. <laughs> okay. I got I got the uh die from falling off the cliff once. That's Wait, I got to the other side somehow. That's cool. I love how when I fall, fell, not falled, oh my gosh, when I fell, I ended up on the other side. I've begun to climb, away from the sea and towards the center. It is a straight line to the summit, where the evening begins to coil around the area squeeze the signals into early silence. The bothy squats against the mount to avoid the gaze of the aerial. I too will creep under the island like an animal and approach it from the northern shore. Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobsen from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife of the lineage. Donnelly records that it did not. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either.
ran out, I didn't pick up a torch. It means the moonlight to be perfect. And I pulled the last shreds of sentiment. I will throw Donnelly's book from the cliffs and perhaps myself with it. Maybe it will wash back up through the caves and erupt from the spring when the rain comes, making its return to the hermit's cave. Perhaps it will be back on the table when I wake. I think I may have thrown it into the sea several times before. A syphilis tore through the system like a drunk driver. He was not to be trusted. Many of his claims are unsubstantiated, and although he does paint a colorful picture, much of what he says may have been derived directly from his fever. But I've been here, and I know, as Donnelly did, that this place is always half an imagine. Even the rocks and caves will shimmer and glow with the right eyes. I just want to play Silent Hill. That's all I want. <laughs> they found Jakobsen in the early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. Yeah. He'd struggled halfway down the cliff path, perhaps looking for some lost goat, or perhaps in a delirium, and expired, curled into a claw right under the winter moon. Even the animals shunned his corpse. The mainlanders thought to bring it home unlucky. Donnelly claims they dragged it to the caves to thaw out and rot. But he is proving an unreliable witness. Yeah, it's, um, I've been wanting to play it forever, but, um, I know the HD remaster they did a couple years ago apparently wasn't well received. And they're supposed to have a remastered version of Silent Hill 2 coming out this year, I think. Uh, down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. I regret that I didn't get to see you play the uh, Tomb Raider. Finish the second chapter. Still don't know what the heck's going on, except for his wife died. It is sad. From here, this last time, I have understood there is no turning back. The torch is failing along with my resolve. I hear the singing of the sea creatures from the passages above me, and they are promising the return of the gulls. Oh, I was saying that I'm not sure what's going on in this game. Cave's pretty, though. Oh, I did. Um, I can't remember now. Weird. I think, um, I don't know. It wasn't about this game, though, right? Because I did mention that there was, um, there's a... It was as if someone had taken the car and shaken it like a cocktail. Oh, oh, oh. 
I said I regret um, not watching your Tomb Raider playthrough. I didn't get to see a lot. I love those games. I mean, the you know, you know which trilogy I mean. I've never played the original. Wait, was it? I think it's up here. Oh, okay. That's cool. So I'll get to see that. Was the first one still your favorite? Yeah, I understand. Uh... Oh, we're underwater now. Yeah, you've got a lot of games to play. I get it. Oh, okay, the second. Yeah. It's a good one. I hope when they make Tomb Raider games in the future that they're good. I don't know if that eventually stops or not. I don't know if going up here is pointless. I think we're back. This is a drowned man's yeah. face reflected in the moonlit water. It can only be a dead shepherd who has come Steep. to drive you home.
Sorry for what? Oh, you're okay. Yeah, I was talking about Tomb Raider. I just said to your uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, I said, yeah, that's a good one. I think, uh, I don't know how I'd rank them. Really enjoyed the first one. Then Rise is either after that or something for me. And then Shadow is last. Just because the storyline little, uh, I don't know. It's not quite as good. Still enjoyed everyone, obviously. Yeah, I still enjoyed him. Would play any of them pretty much any time. on the last chapter now? Or is this part of this chapter? Must be. Oh, must be the car crash that his wife got in. Yeah, that's bad. Still seems underwater though. You were advising someone? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. Not sure whether to go left or right, so I'm, I don't know. I guess I'm going left. Well, look at that moon. That is not real. <laughs> but well, obviously it's not real, but it's I like. I wish I could have known Dolan face to face. We would have had so much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently? Frozen waters. Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? Oh, that's nice of you. Well, thank you. Oh. I drowned. Yes. I come back to life. Now I'm just going to drown slowly, I guess. Okay. Um. Okay. She's playing. Okay, that's cool. Drown once. <laughs> Achievement. Yeah, I was actually honestly thinking about playing that before I started playing this game. Just because I've been having a hard time lately and it's kind of my comfort game. It's not kind of a comfort game, for sure. I love that game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dear Esther, I find each step harder and heavier. I 
and dragged. Donald is corpse on my back across these rocks, and all I hear are his whispers of guilt, his reminders, his burnt letters, his neatly folded clothes. He tells me I was not drunk at all. <laughs> I don't really want to make you cry, but it's cool that the game moves you like that. All by the roadside, by the exit for Damascus, all ticking and caught, all feathers and remorse. All of these signals routed like traffic through the circuit diagrams of our guts. Those badly written boats torn bottomless in the swells, washing us forever ashore. There's really nothing to this game other than the story. There's no interacting that you can do like in other games. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then... As the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Oh yeah. A sudden a light from heaven shone around, and he fell to the... Eggs? Maybe play the bow. I'm going to drown again. Okay, so I think we can go up there. Er, wait. We were up there. Um. And I want. Um. No, we weren't. Okay, let's go this way. I think we have to get over there. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just a guide. To walk towards. Oh, you saw the spiders? I, I can't remember the spiders in Resident Evil 4 for some reason. Where were they? The pain in my leg sent me blind for a few minutes as I struggled up the cliff path. I swallowed another handful of painkillers, and now I feel almost lucid. The island around me has retreated to a hazed distance, whilst the moon appears to have descended into my palm to guide me. I can see a thick black line of infection reaching for my heart from the waistband of my trousers. Through the fugue, I saw all the world like the path I have cut from the lowlands towards the aerial. Oh, okay. And you discovered... The I remember that. Now. Are you still having uh, issues with the uh, controls? Or was it the controls or the camera? I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time. Weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. You can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber. The 
hope to vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and casts parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. And as he was, as he was proceeding on his journey, um, oh, because you said something about, there was something about the game Resident Evil 4 that you didn't like. I forgot what you said, and I was trying to remember if it was like the controls or something like that. And was coming near, I don't even know what that says. In three... Eat. Neither did he eat nor no, drink. If he had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. He became his syphilis? Oh, the way you move around with them. Okay. Gotcha. Um, it, it was hard when I played that game on PC, but it was the original. I played the remastered on PlayStation, so I don't know if I had that problem, but um, maybe eventually when I go to actually finish that game, uh, I'll know what you mean, because I never finished it. Returning to my car afterwards, hands still shaking, and a head split open by the impact. Goodbye to tearful aunts and traumatized uncles. Goodbye to the phenomenal. Goodbye to the tangible. Goodbye Wolverhampton. Goodbye Sanford. Goodbye Cromer. Goodbye Damascus. This cliff path is slippery in the dew. It is hard to climb with such an infection. I must carve out the bad flesh and sling it from the aerial. I must become infused with the very air. And it came to pass that as can't see as the as I don't know it's making me a little sick. Like, you know, the motion sickness. I'm feeling it. Just moving the camera around. So, I'm not gonna read that. would kind of be terrifying. A gull perched on the spent bonnet, sideways, whilst the sirens fell through the middle distance and the metal moaned in grief about us. I am about this night in walking. Old Fred and gull bones. Old Donnelly at the bar dripping his drink. Old Esther walking with our children. Old Paul as ever. Old Paul. He shakes and he shivers and he turns off his lights alone. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, 
this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jakobsen? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon that they will not forget you. We've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jakobsen flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Yeah, I uh, figured that was going to happen once he started climbing, but honestly, it was kind of a move throughout. It's going to do this. He didn't want to live without her. Sad. Or is he flying? <laughs> This game is really gorgeous. It just. I felt like it needed more. And I don't like to rag on games, so. I am sorry if you really like this game and you hear a little bit of my disappointment. Okay, so I did finish the whole game. Um, thoughts? Um, nothing that I really haven't already said, except for, I don't know, this was a little lackluster for me. It definitely didn't hit the same way that, like, what for me, the Finch did. But honestly, nothing probably ever will, because that game is still top tier to this day. I don't, um... I enjoyed like games like Firewatch and Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Other first person games, I think like a uh, Suicide of Rachel Foster. I would st I would like I like that one. This one because there's a little bit more you can do. There's not a whole lot you can do here. Really, just moving throughout the game and then hearing what he has to say. But the story wasn't that clear for me, except for obviously his wife died, which is sad. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry it wasn't that exciting, but, um, hey, finally got to try it, so at least I can check that game off my list. I don't know what we're gonna play next. Maybe I'll play Life is Strange again, because, um, well, because it's my favorite game, and also going through a hard time, and then also because my videos on YouTube of it aren't the best. 
I could update them and make them better. So thank you for joining me. I hope you all take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.